Roman Castle from Spiro Nation. We're here with DeeperBlue.com doing a co-branded coverage of DEMA 2016. This is Brian from Sea Sniper. He's going to show us all the latest and greatest stuff they're putting out. This is our first time at DEMA as well, 2016. And uh, yeah, this is our first time ever showing here. So it's yeah, big, big event for us. And we've had a great response. Everybody's been super uh, stoked to see us here. Came out with a bunch of new stuff for this show. Um, got a new roller gun called the Holy Roller. Got a new uh, intro level gun called the Drifter, and we revised our regular rear handle gun, which we're now calling the Pistola, nice. and um, we made it into a Pistola Plus. So it's got a little bit longer uh, butt on it okay. for people who might struggle loading a uh, reverse trigger mech. Nice. So uh, some really good new additions to the, the gun lineup. Perfect. And yeah, it's been great. Cool. All right. can, you, can you show us some of these guns? Sure. So we'll start with uh, the Drifter. This, is, um, this has been one of our most popular models here at the show, and basically it's a solid body construction. So it's made out of a wood called sapele, which is uh, similar to a mahogany, but a little bit denser. Um, really, good, uh, really good material for marine uses. So um, of course we're doing uh, hand rubbed epoxy on all of these things and uh, automotive clear finish on them as well. This gun has a molded, um, molded muzzle, and one piece molded muzzle and one piece molded uh, handle design and trigger. So really, really um, strong design and uh, very, very comfortable in the hand. Um, we're gonna do four different sizes in this gun from 75 centimeter up to 120. Oh, cool. And pricing going from 399 to 440. So oh, nice. very, very affordable for the guy who's just getting into the sport. Um, but wants to have a really high quality gun. So we're, we're super excited about the Drifter model. Awesome. Cool, that's cool. And the one that everybody's been waiting for is the, the roller model. So rollers have been out for a while. We've been working on it tirelessly uh, and we finally got it completely dialed in. We've done extensive testing with this uh, between myself, Chris and Alex Renault, one of our team members. We've uh, had this thing in the pool and, and gotten great results from it. So. Um, we're doing it in two finishes. It'll be a carbon fiber finish in black or a carbon fiber finish in silver. And it's a single uh, band roller using a 9 16 uh, small ID band. And um, you get great, great uh, penetration with this gun um, and an amazing accuracy with zero recoil. It's just, it's just such a, a fun gun to shoot in the water. And I think this will be one of our best selling guns going into 2017. What does this one retail for? This one's going to retail for uh, 925 on the 110 and 899 on the uh, 90. Oh. So we're doing a 90 centimeter and a 110 at this point. Maybe a 130 down the road, but not sure if there's that much of a need for it. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So I, just for the for the sake of the people that don't that have never experienced a roller gun, I shoot a roller gun. Roller guns are I love them. They're a little more complicated, but I just love them. Um, what is the equivalent to this gun in a normal traditional two band gun or three band gun? So this band, this gun with the single 916 span will shoot equally, if not a little bit further than our standard 110 that has two 5.8 spans. So it's going to land somewhere in between our standard 110 and standard 130, um, but on a you know 110 frame, um, and and again just with yeah, it's compact with that extreme accuracy. Um, it's it's a really fun gun to shoot and really easy to use. So. It's a it's a simple loading process, and uh, you know once you once you start it and you pre-tension the, the back, load the front uh, the front tab here, flip it over, and then you just go from the the tab here to the tab in the back, and you're good to go. It takes no no more time than it would to load a two-band gun. Is is that similar to the one I got to try? Uh, uh, in the pause. Yes. Okay, cool. So this is a refined perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's it's it, it's actually surprisingly easy to load. So I actually loaded it myself. So it's it's a it's a cool cool gun. Um, I was going to ask, and of course this is in close track, like all your guns? Yeah, so I think at this point, um, I think we're actually the only company that has an enclosed track roller. Um, so I haven't seen anything else on the market. There very well could be, but um, to this, to our knowledge, we, we have the enclosed track roller right now. So yeah, even more accuracy. All right, and then I also saw on your website, or, or like through social media postings, that you, you put out a slip tip. Yes, we have. Um, that is right here on this 110. Uh, so our slip tip is another another new item for us. Um, we're doing these in 9 30 seconds, 5 16 11 30 seconds, and 3 8 So for whatever size gun you need, 
you know, we make slip tips, we make shafts for all those all those size guns. Um, and the you, the unique thing about our slip tip is it's machined out of one piece of material. So uh, there is no weld on the back where there's normally the little fin tab. So we've we've removed that uh, weld, which will eliminate any of the the problems that you associate with heat transfer and, and um, bending of the of the um, stainless. Uh, and it also just makes for a smoother, cleaner finish um, and that much smoother transition through the water. Uh, so really, really clean design. And when you get to see it and feel it in person, uh, maybe you can get a close-up of it, but it's a beautiful, sexy little slip tip. And uh, our slide rings are also machined out of a single piece of uh, material as well. So um, really clean. It does, look, it does look very clean, yeah. So that's, that's one of our other new items. Um, and then, like I said, the other... The other new item would be the um, the rear handle plus or the pistola plus. So the blue digi camo here has the regular handle. So you can see that reverse mech is all the way back here. So for some people, if they're not used to chest loading, yeah. it, it may be difficult for them to get that that uh, back onto the shark fin tab. But to eliminate that, we're now offering it in a plus version. So that way someone can get that little bit of extra room on their chest or you can even hip load if you're a scuba diver and want to use one of these for uh, loading on the hip. That's also a possibility. Yeah. Oh, also, cool. with, also with the drifter, we're going to offer that in two models or sorry, two versions. So you'll have the drifter and the drifter plus. So again, you know, since we do, we're doing it down to a 75 centimeter, there may be a lot of guys that you know uh, want to have that little bit of extra room on the butt to, to help this load loading these. It it's a, such a good ergonomic feel on the handle. It's awesome. It looks like your safety mechanism has changed on this model. It has. Um, so we've gone to a, a push through safety mechanism, and it works really well with this design. Um, it's super simple, but really effective and clean. And uh, so we're, I think it's going to be a, a, a great one. It's really easy to use, too, with the positioning of it. So you can access it super, super easy in between dives. Tell us how we can buy one of these guns, where we can buy these guns. Well, first, look at your local retailers. And uh, that's where you'd want to start first. If for some reason someone in your area doesn't carry our product, number one, tell them to buy it. Two, go to csniper.com, and you can find everything there. And then you can follow us on uh, Instagram and on Facebook at Sea Sniper. Awesome. Well, it was good seeing you again. Great to see you too. Uh, thanks for doing this for us. Uh, guys, if you have any questions for Brian, just let him hook, uh, just hit him up on social media or whatever. And uh, thanks for showing us oh, a cool... Uh, wait. There's more. All right. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> so we're super excited to work with Ray from Divar. And we're doing, um, we're doing four fins with him. And you can see one of them up above here. We'll have to focus in on that later. But um, our Wahoo design here. We're also doing our uh, wetsuit camo design. Both of those are in fiberglass uh, models. And then we're going to do two carbon fiber uh, fins with, with Ray as well. So those will be uh, actually, they're already hitting the stores right now. And they're also going to be available at csniper.com. What, what do the fins retail for? The fins retail for three ninety five on the um, fiberglass and four ninety five on the carbons for the blades. Yep. yep. Cool. There you go. Lots of cool stuff coming out. Oh, actually, already out. So go check it out. Cool.